the wreck. This is the wreck. If you can see on the fish finder, I'm not sure. But this is the wreck. that I used to have fish before which is uh, one and a half kilometer about one mile out of the arm and then there is another one which is further away another kilometer in out another fish there so I might try both of them today I'll start with the closer one if I find it and I can anchor well hoping not to lose any gear give it a try, give it a shot and then we'll see if I uh, should uh, head out I don't see here any activity I'm trolling uh, Savage Gear uh, Sandy uh, behind me there's no cake as of yet First cast, I was anchoring a bit away from the a bit away from uh, the wreck, about 100, feet, 100 foot. Um, I should have done it uh, closer, but it's my first time trying to do it. Um, so, sending this savage gear. Getting this schooly, small schooly. So I did my best to try to be able to, uh, uh, to position myself close to the wreck. I wasn't that successful, 115 foot from there. And it's to my right, so I try to cast and let the line go because the current will take the lure also a little bit uh, further. Let's see if I get into another one. I saw the wreck on the fish finder, first time that I see it clearly. And I marked it, it was where I've uh, marked already a uh, waypoint, so, but uh, I marked it even more accurately now. But in any case, uh, the struggle is to be able to position yourself uh, in, the right, in the right place. I might take the anchor up if I cast a few times and I can't uh, get to any decent fish, I'll take the anchor up and I'll position myself a bit closer. It's only 30 feet here. It's now the ebb.
I'll give it a few more shots and maybe I will uh, reposition myself. Brim, tiny, tiny brim on the brim uh, rig uh, with squid. It started. This pup is unbelievable. This is the biggest pop so far. <laughs> So anchored up, the ebb now, no water, it's about one hour from now. Uh, I'm heading to the other wreck which is uh, more south, so I have another about mile or a bit less paddle. I never fished it, I want to try at least if I can. That wreck, I couldn't position myself on it quite well, although I got one bus on the on, on the spinning, and then I was snagged, and I think I was snagged because I was about 70 feet from there, so I was casting, and I left the lure too lo too long in the water. Let it sink. That was something else. By the time I tried to retrieve it. I have a snack, so I had to cut the line. Anyway, uh, I had just a few brims there and a few small pops of smooth down. That's it. So I'm going to try to see if I can find the other wreck. I have a mark for it. I, I'm not sure. I've never been there, so I never marked it. I hope I will see it and I will be able to position myself and get something there so let's see so the wreck is on my right I'm drifting there very slowly 0 0.3 mile per hour but I'm checking the drifting now I'm gonna pass it uh, a bit a bit north of it so but I had one knock I'm, I'm casting towards the rack and I had one knock I'm not sure, another one. I guess it's a mackerel or something, it's very small. Thirty feet behind me. So I have to reposition my reposition to drift a little bit. Um, before where I uh, stopped the other the other time, so maybe I can go above it. Okay, so I'm going to reposition myself again.
Yeah, this one on the wreck. Drifting over the wreck. Nice bus. Yeah, I was drifting over the wreck. He took the sandil, Savage gear. in three quarter so it's about 45 so again drifting I'm I'm just above the rack now it's to my left where the lure is so question is how much line to give I'm gonna cast again and I will need to reposition myself so it's somewhere there I just passed it attack you. What can I do? That's not what I wanted. Yeah, it's another conga. For sure. Messing with my line, my god. something else
bring. Okay. Sure. Uh, what should I do with them? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a brim. Maybe it's a bigger brim. Yeah, it's a bigger brim. It's a bigger brim. Before, it's not huge. Early hooked. Bite. <laughs> I got a bite, but I lost the bite. <laughs> Sometimes they are just stripping it. These professional strippers. I work so hard to put the bait on, and they just nicking it. Double shot. The bream are biting like crazy. So the right rod doesn't produce anything because it's a... Uh, I try whatever I can to get not brim but uh, it's either conger or brim um, and I put a bigger hook so nothing been hooked since then so at least no congers but uh, uh, I'll change it and maybe I I'll mix it, I'll uh, fish it with black lugs, I'll fish it with squid. And I'll see what's coming. the closer wreck with the uh, mac so far just congers we have small bites also brim i think mac lost one uh, good fish on uh, live bait uh, we are just by the wreck so the wreck is in between us and, uh, and i think the it was a good fish they took him in Mark, come on, it's just congers. That's a conger fest. That's why I didn't anchor next to <laughs> Since the conger ruined my, uh, destroyed my uh, uh, spreader rig. change now to a simple flapper bite and they are nicking the bait I'm working so hard taking it in a second yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, I saw it also because uh, you gave it to me back then, you remember? You gave me the coordinates, so I marked it already based on what you gave me. So, this first time one. I came today, I had it. And you know, oh, first it, cast with the lure. I can see it, it's here. You can yeah, see yeah, yeah. it directly. I know. First cast, fir I also did a screenshot to uh, send it to you so you can verify it. <laughs> first, cast, ca first cast with the lure, I got the bus, the small bus, the schooly one. I was so happy, I said, oh my god, it's above the rake, I got it. I was using live bait, uh, 50 pounds line, right? You saw it, I was like, it was running. It could be a, a big sea bass or a, a taupe. Yeah, but it also could be a conger. No, I don't think that's a conger. <laughs> Do you think? It was proper running. Yeah, but you know, if you don't, it depends. If you don't pick it up uh, quickly... You will, will run back in it. And your line is uh, on the ratchet and uh, drag is uh, open. The conger will go also in, into a, into a snag. They're pulling. It could be, it could be anything. Right? Yeah, yeah. they are good fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, you got some good bait as well. What? You got some good bait. I was using. Um... Oi! Hey, what am I doing? Oi! Something wrong with this reel squid. because it's only squid. That's a sea bass bait. Aye. Alright, I'll probably gonna see you there. So we'll be in touch. Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Looking good. <laughs> I like the box. It's the same now, isn't it? Yeah. It's John's. It's a good box. Oh your your line is on your rudder, yeah? Really? What do you mean? Let me oh. poke it for you. Put the rudder up, can you? Uh, now now I'm gripping your side. Can you pull the rudder up? Yeah I already already done it. You did it? It's off, yeah. I'm stuck. <laughs> Clean the fish, I need to, oh my god. <laughs> I have to, tomorrow a big day, a lot of uh, meetings. It's flat tomorrow, you sure you don't want to fish? Uh, what can I do? This is the end of the day. This is what we call a big fishing gathering. What the two boats, six, seven people. Nice. Another boat there. I think they all know each other. I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, thank you for watching. It was a lovely day. Great to be on the water. Uh, yeah, I done some wreck fishing first time for me to find the wreck, to explore a little bit. Uh, the bus was caught uh, spinning over the wreck when I was drifting. Yeah, I guess more time gonna give me more uh, experience. So tight line, please uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit notification bell, and uh, thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. The water like silk. No breath.